Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, call Halal La Yahawa Bashimi Hawa Shai, that's Hebrew, interpret bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai, all praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson. And this is uh, Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. All right, now, what inspired me to do this show is that I was uh, taking watch of uh, Eldest Possum Tahar's video on the new video he posted as far as the update of the microchip. And um, halfway in the lesson, he quoted this scripture and uh, started to talk about, you know, how the churches, you know, the government churches, Christianity, okay, the pastors, you know, they're going to be teaching you know, two thirds of our people to take that chip. All right, because we believe that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. And really, to be honest, it's evident. There's really no, is there's there is no doubt. You know, there is no shadow of a doubt that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast that the Bible speaks of. You know, it's plenty of um, uh, research, and you can get into the word mark, which goes into the. Uh, the uh you know the strong concordance which the word mark goes back to a greek word uh that says karagma karagma means something imprinted something imprinted you know mark incision something up under the skin you know and what is up under the skin that is that rfid microchip another um quick 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 uh thought on it is that you know what is the agenda of the elites what is the agenda of esau that rules the world his end goal is that everyone will be microchipped. So, you know, if you're a watchman and you're honest and sincere about this truth, you have no problem uh, uh, preaching or prophesizing and, and teaching that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Anybody else that speak otherwise is, uh, is, is, is a paid agent, man, okay? Or you a sellout agent, you know? You're just a demon. But anyway, you know, I wanted to point out um, the word elect but let's read this again this is Matthew 24 and 24 for there shall arise false Christ all right so it says Christ with an s so there's going to be many men okay that's going to say that they the anointed you know they, they the one that uh, was sent you know from the heavenly father and and they're going to have people follow them you know and I'm going to tell you, oh, and it also says false prophets. And you sure do have that today. All right. You got men, you know, in particular, I'm thinking about the flavor of the month. You know, that nigga um, who entitled himself Elder Quinaf from the Fopi Israelite camp. You know, you know, he basically saying that he's anointed and he's trying to anoint, you know, other men to follow after his teaching in which he came up himself. Which is saying that all the Israelites are all, all the tribes of, Basically all the tribes of Israel are all Negroes Which is stupid as hell man You know And I'm just thinking of him Because he the flavor of the month But there's many other men You know you got different camps out here Alright which I watched yesterday on the feed I was watching a lot of videos yesterday I didn't get a chance Well I did do a video I just didn't load it yet But um, I was watching a lot of videos And I was watching the spirit you know, I was just mainly, you know, reading the spirit of brothers pushing videos. You know, Elder Apostle Tahar, he also did a video. Um, you know, I forgot. I'm a roughly title. I mean, roughly paragraph, roughly paraphrase, excuse me, roughly paraphrase his title, which he said that, like, basically, uh, E is scared of I. Basically, uh, Esau is scared that Jake is going to rule. And after watching that video, I started to watch other videos and I saw that brothers was putting up videos, you know, on Esau, man. Then I watched another video that came across the feed, which there's a group that I never saw before, you know. 
And this gay, this gay, this group, he had, you know, young guys, they had uh, tattoos and shit. You could tell they was niggas in the world, you know, which we all were. But, you know, one guy had dreads and I was listening to their doctrine. You know, for the most part, they had their doctrine correct. Now, I know there's probably some bullshit they got going on because one dude had dreads, you know. And um, those, you know, those camps like that, you got to be a uh, watchman too because, and um, be vigilant. You know, because Esau also paid and set up certain camps out here. You know, don't be surprised that um that that um you know when they demonized the Israelites, like especially making this movie they got coming out. I don't know if they changed the name to Saint Paul. I think the beginning years ago they was calling it Asher and all that. You know, basically trying to demonize us and say that we're terrorists when we're not. You know, they want the people to believe that, but. You know, tying all that in, you know, into this scripture is that uh, uh, they shall, uh, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Because truly, you know, this work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, this gospel, is really given to the elect of Israel. All right. And if you got Israelite camps out here that's not teaching the elect, then that means they're not of the elect. All right. Because it's clear and simple. You know, I can actually, matter of fact, let me put elect in the blue letter here and see how many times it come up in the scriptures. And it said occurs in 20 verses in the KGV. All right, so 20 times the Lord made mention of the word elect. And I'm pretty sure every time he made mention of elect, it talked about the Israelites. Let me read some. Um, let's see here, what we got? Start with the very first one. Uh, Isaiah 42 and one, behold my servant whom I upheld, my elect. In whom my soul delighteth, I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. All right, so we talking about his his chosen. All right, and guess what? Israel itself is the elect, but the Lord gets deeper. The Lord is is dealing with the elect of the elect. Check that out. Okay, so just to sit, let me throw this out there again. Just to you know, just knowing that you're an Israelite. Doesn't mean you're going, doesn't mean you're the elect. <laughs> you might be the elect being that you're an Israelite, but doesn't mean you're going to be saved. You know, because Paul said it best, you know, faith without works is dead. You know, he said, I'll show you my faith by my works. So if you don't, you know, um, have no works, you know, how can you show your faith? You know, in this truth of ours, you sincerely have to, um, you know, uh, prove your work, you know, excuse me, prove your faith. You know, and let your work speak for itself. All right. So, you know, let me read another one. I'm free to read a few of them. Just, you know, just as like I said, this is uh, the word elect in the uh, in the scriptures. And this is random pre precepts. So I'm going to read Isaiah 65 and 9. It says, and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah an inheritor of my mountains and my elect shall inherit it. And my servant shall dwell there. Shall dwell there. All right, so obviously, when you read um, certain scriptures and precepts, you got to understand the context. Because the elect could be calling all the Israelites the elect, or he could be actually talking about the elect within the elect, which he had basically chosen unto himself. Because this day and time, in 2019, which they call this year, which actually today is the 4th of December, going into 2020, the Lord is only dealing with his elect. He's not dealing with... Um, the masses of the Israelites, like he did, like he dealt with in the time of ancient Egypt when he delivered us. All right. This time is different. This time the Lord have kept him that cluster. And I'm, and I'm I don't, I'm getting excited. I don't want to jump the gun, but I want to read the definition of elect because it is really that, that important. It's that important, man, to understand that when you in this truth, you are truly in this truth to do the works, you know, for yourself first, all right, for your individual self so that you have works to, that you can prove your faith, okay? You can uh, hopefully, you know, Lord's willing, he forgive you of your iniquities and your sins and save you. But then also, you're not doing it just for yourself, but you're doing it for the rest of your life. So if you call yourself a teacher and you out there prophesizing and you on the street um, waking, up, waking up the Israelites, then you should be telling these people that look this is for the elect 
All right, trying to be cool with all Jake ain't cutting it. The most high ain't cool with all Jake. All right, two thirds of our people has become a degenerate plant. All right, degenerates. Now you look that word up. Jake is hard headed. Okay, the most high, he told Jeremiah, he had given them ears that they should not hear and eyes that they should not see. So what is it that you don't get? That why, why, why would it offend you that the Lord will deliver you, but not going to deliver them? That, and that's if you are the elect. It don't offend me that the Lord is not uh, 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 dealing with two thirds. I understand why. <laughs> it doesn't offend me that the Lord is only dealing with his elect of, his, of, of the elect. Okay. The elect of his chosen. Because I understand why. All right. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to read one more. It says, Isaiah 65 and 9, I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and inheritor. Oh, I read that one. Let me read Isaiah 65, 22. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. All right. So anyway, mainly these is talking about all of Israel, you know, because Israel is the elect. But I must stress there's an elect within the elect, and I want to basically get into that. So let me read Matthew 24 and 24 once again. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. Not just you got Israelites that... <laughs> it was going to cut me off so i let it rain through because i've been trying to do this lesson all day today i'm tired of satan man I'm so sick of him man every time i do a lesson my phone ring and i keep forgetting to take uh to basically go to uh put my phone in to not disturb you know me forgetting because i be you know want to do the show man and as soon as you start doing the show that's when people start calling and it's stupid shit man anyway man let's get back to the scriptures um, Matthew 24 and 24 For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets Alright Oh and I was saying uh, You got false prophets that are teaching That they're Israelites You got these men which is of the house Which is of the circumcision I should say And then you got false prophets Which is uh, basically uh, weaned it and, and nurtured from Esau You know that's teaching in these government churches You know like your boy Kanye West And um, what's his name Joel Easton, what's his name? I forgot his damn name. Dan Edomite. You know, you got a lot of them guys what they call mega churches. They're false prophets, man. All right. So anyway, it says, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Because guess what? It's not possible that you can deceive the very elect. Okay, which is the elect of the elect, the chosen within the chosen. Okay, the individuals who the Lord favor, who the Lord have handpicked. You can't deceive these men. Okay, this is why we tell you, you know, and we do these shows while we can. All right, because these scoffers, these demons, these other, these Israelite camps that's going off, teaching false doctrines, perverting the gospel. We do these shows to to uh to enlighten and to warn the newly fruit the sincere newly fruit that's sincerely uh coming in and uh into this truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai we're warning you because us you know Lord's willing you know we don't get seduced by that spirit you know because they're not fooling us you know but when they creep in with these different doctrines and teaching of another Yahweh Shai you know we got to we got to defend the gospel and that's for your sakes you know because you might get you might stumble and scriptures talk about how they they you know they stumble make the little ones to stumble you know make you have doubt and this truth of ours the war starts with the spirit man the spirit in the flesh the war is in your mind man that's the first war cuz you got to battle yourself so so with guys speaking these false doctrines out there you got to keep your eyes single, man. 
you got to keep your eye on the prize and the truth and walk in it. You know, don't win no. Don't go be back and forth. Start saying to yourself, what if? And I don't know, man, that was a bad lesson. He kind of got me thinking now. I don't know. Is the 12 tribes all Negroes? Could be. I never really liked them, them Puerto Ricans anyway. You know, because that's all that is, man. That nigga, he, that's one of them niggas from the hood. I don't give a fuck. Where you from? You look like a crazy nut, nutty nut anyway. And here it is, because I know Jake like this, that doesn't care or doesn't realize that the Northern Kingdom, the, the, the Puerto Ricans, Hispanics are our people. Because Jake could talk about um, Ishakar, you know, badly, you know. Yeah, get on the Mexicans, man. Curse them out, you know, and all that. Talk, talk about how stupid they are and this and that. And, and then when you go to the corner stores, that's where Ephraim at. Jake being there, stealing from Ephraim, you know. You know, and, and then Ephraim, you know, to make it makes things worse, you know, they speak also against Judah too. You know, I, I had it was an incident where I was actually in a liquor store, I was getting me some Ya Yun, which is wine, and and um, you know, Jake was in line, but then you know, one of the one of the poppies came in, one of the um the stores, I guess friend came in, and of course he's northern. The 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 the, the Ephraimite, the cash register Edomite, the one that was ringing people up, I mean Edomite, Ephraimite, all right. He let him go before the black dude, you know what I'm saying? And I was in line, and the black dude blew the fuck up. He blew up, man. He got mad, man. He was like, "Yo, I don't give a fuck, yo, yo." I was hearing all this and that, and I understood that, but that, you know, Poppy was wrong. So it is is always enmity between Judah and Ephraim, man. You know, that's just some pure hatred. That you have for uh, the northern kingdom. The northern Israelites, which are the Hispanics, man. The, the so-called Hispanics tribes and native Indians, man. Seminole Indians. They Israelites. Straight up, man. So anyway. um, Damn. I'm doing too much talking. Forget my train of thought. I'm going to read the scripture again. Salakia. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. And so much that if it were possible... They shall deceive the very elect. All right. So it's not possible to deceive the Lord's very elect, which is the chosen within the chosen. So with that being said, I want to go into this word elect, which is um Greek word elect electos, eclectos. All right. And it means picked out. Right. <laughs> picked out. Meaning these men that the Lord chose, he, he hand picked them out. That means that these men are better than the other men of Israel. All right. So the Lord does show favor. And in the kingdom, there will be favor being shown. You know, I said this in one of my latest lessons, man. You know, that when Yahweh Shai come, a lot of men going to be put to shame. You know, thinking that you this person and you're not. A lot of men is going to be put to shame thinking that you that person and you're not. Because when, uh, when Yahweh Shai exhort his men, which is the elect, over you, you're going to be ashamed, man. And I and I say it hands down, man. The apostles and elders are those men, man. That I, that I see, you know, this is my personal uh, opinion and my faith, you know, which I believe I'm right. The apostles is going to be exhorted above all you so-called guys out there that call yourselves elders, man. You know, you might not want to admit it, but it's going to be shown. It's already shown through the work. You know, didn't Paul say, you know my faith by my works? <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul is damn near the, the, old, the, the, new, the, uh, the new Testament, man. So say, say that Paul didn't uh, works that wasn't shown. Say that Paul didn't have faith. You can't say that. All right, so anyway, it says picked out, chosen, chosen by God, meaning chosen by Yahweh. So that's why scriptures say who can do anything against the Lord's elect? <laughs> you know, what could you do against the Lord's elect? <laughs> Nothing, man, because the heavenly father chosen these men. Now, this is the these are the elect of the elect, the chosen within the chosen Israelites, man. It says to obtain salvation through Yahweh Shai. So these men were handpicked in the spirit world to be chosen to be delivered with Yahweh Shai, man. Delivered in Yahweh Shai, I should say. 
And Jahweh Shai is already delivered, man. He, you know, he paid the way. He's coming back to redeem us, to get us out of this shit. All right? To obtain salvation through Yahweh Shai. That's, yo, if you're not teaching the elect, something wrong with you, man. Something wrong with you, man. Get away from them guys, man. You know? Get away from them guys. Chew the meat, spit out the bones, man. Chew the meat, spit out the bones. Get away. <laughs> All right? It says, Christians are called chosen or elect of God. Now, like I said, chew the meat, spit out the bones. Because not all Christians, okay, which especially those that call themselves Christians today, they are not the, they are the elect if they're Israelites, but they're not the elect of the elect. Them, these niggas going to get put to death, man. All right? You're a bunch of hypocrites, man. All of you, you know, that goes to these churches and make it churches. You got a lot of them going to this uh, Kanye West shit, man, just to see Kanye. You know, then you go back home eating your, your fried pork, man. Shit is nuts, man, how y'all are, man. Y'all is, is just sad. Nah, you're not even sad, man. You just, y'all y'all just unbelievable. No, I don't know the word. Excuse me. You're just sickening. Yes, that's what it is. You're just sickening, man. You know, evil. Anyway, uh, it says the Messiah is called elect. Exactly, Yahweh Shai, right? As appointed by Yahweh to the most exalt office conceivable. So you can't get above Yahweh Shai. You hear that, Esau? You hear that E? You can't get above Yahweh Shai. You hear that Kanye? You know, because he wants to, he wants to body, he wants to embody himself this image of Jesus Christ. You know, our brothers, I don't know if y'all saw or heard, but hopefully I'm gonna do a show on it. Maybe a little quick take. I don't know. But uh, you know, your boy Kanye got a Bible, got a new Bible, Bible out called the Yeezy Bible. And guess what it says in the first verse? And then there was Yeezy. <laughs> If this nigga, if this nigga not an abomination, yo, Kanye is gonna get hung from a building, man. So all can see, man. Thus saith the Lord. Most high is gonna greatly, greatly embarrass and humble and destroy you, Kanye West, man. This nigga is out of his mind, man. Go check that out. Kanye West got a Bible out. Look it up. Google it, man. And the Bible, I think it costs about like $30. I mean, no, excuse me. I said $30. $1,000, man. <laughs> His Bible costs more than the Bible, than the Lord's Bible. All right? When, when Really, this word is free, but we have to buy it from a store, obviously. You can go to the dollar store and get you a King James Version Bible, a good one at that, a red letter one, you know? And Kanye, <laughs> and Kanye got a Bible out of here, man-made of him, saying that he is God. You know, he's not even attacking the son. He's also attacking the father, you know. And that's what that scripture come into play when the Lord said, he that addeth and taketh away, he shall suffer the curses of these scriptures. And Kanye, you're going to suffer greatly, my man. That's the God knows truth, man. You know, not just you, but the two thirds of Israel. All right. This is why we seek in mercy from the Lord, man. This is why we do our shows. This is why, you know, we uh, we watch and pray. You know, and seek the Lord while he may be found, man. This is clearly the time to repent, man. If you ain't about repenting, then go live it up, you know, straight up, man. And then when destruction come, you know, don't cry, man. Don't cry. It says choice select. So here it is. This is the most High's choice that he chosen a chosen. He's chosen a chosen of the chosen. <laughs> It was his select, all right? It says the best of its kind. <laughs> the best of its kind. God, man. So the elect is the best, man. Preeminent. Kind. The best of its kind, all right? So guess what? When, when Yahweh Shai put that crown upon the elect's head, they the best. They are the best. All right, of the Israelites, because they was handpicked, chosen, selected of all the Israelites, man. Out of all the Israelites that the Lord said you cannot number, you know, it's like the sand of the sea, the stars in heaven. The Most High have a small, selected few. All right, and if you of that number, man, may the mo hey, Most High bless you, man. You know, Barakatha. All right. It says excellent, preeminent, 
apply to certain individual Christians. So it only applies, see, elect. See, we're talking about the elect of the elect, the chosen of the chosen. It only applies to a certain individual of the Israelites. Certain individuals of the Israelite, not all Israelites, but selected individual Israelites. And that's starting with the men first, because you have elected women, which will be in the body with the men. Household of the men being wives, man. Okay? This, so if you ain't talking about the elect, you ain't talking about nothing, man. <laughs> you know? You ain't talking about nothing. Now, let me get down to the Strong's definition. It says, select by implication, favorite. Ooh. <laughs> God. <laughs> so that shows you that the Lord has a favorite. He has a favorite of his chosen people. Check that out, man. By implication, favorite. So whoever the Lord had made his elect, those are his favorite. Those are his favorite. So what you gonna do? So when we read the scripture, um I forgot. Let me see this. Salakia. Let me see something real quick. <laughs> ah, shit. Um. This is Romans 8 and 33. Um, come back to that one. Uh, Romans 8 and 33. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 33. It says, Who shall lay... Let me read up some. Verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who could be against us, man? Okay? Esau, you could be against the elect, but can you uh, get over on the elect? Not if the Most High is dealing with them. Can you deceive the elect? Not if the not if the Most High made it, uh, made him the elect. You can't, man. All right. It says, um, you know, can you false prophets fool and deceive the very elect? I think not. It says, um, what shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? It says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not, uh, with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is the Most High that justifies. And that's why also Yahweh Shai said, um, he told Pilate, you have no power but what the Father do. And I'm roughly paraphrasing that. All right. You know, because Pilate had no power over Yahweh Shai. It was only what the Heavenly Father was allowing to be done, you know, unto Yahweh Shai. You know, and that, and that goes the same for us, brothers. You know, because the scriptures say, be homes as a dove. No, excuse me. The scriptures say, some shall be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. You know, so some of us will be uh, witnesses of Yahweh Shai. May have to be faithful in prison unto death. May be beheaded. You know, some of us brothers will. All right. But, um, but guess what? It's all according to the Most High's will. It's not the power of Esau. All right. Because the Most High made a boundary that these devils can't pass. And that boundary is that you're not going to microchip everybody in the world. You are going to fail in your enterprise. You are going to fail in your agenda. You're, you are going to fail in your new world order. All right. Scriptures say we will, uh, in Wisdom of Solomon, it says we were made to reprove your thoughts, Esau. We were handpicked. Let me say the elect was handpicked, selected, 
favorite to uh, reprove was a hand-picked, selected favorite of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, born to reprove your thoughts, man. <laughs> Here when you thought you had it all. But really, you had an end, all right, of your rulership. So, um, it says choice, select, well, no. Select by implication, favorite, chosen, elect. All right, so you should have understanding, man, that the Lord is, is dealing with the elect. Let me read Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. Insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Because you're not going to deceive the very elect. And if a man get deceived and fall, go back into the world, you know, and, he, and if he's not the prodigal son, because, you know, hey, the Most High does everything. And guess what? Putting your hand to the plow, looking back, you're not fit for the kingdom. And obviously, it just shows that you're not of that elect. You know? It just shows, man. So, now from here, I'm going to bring out my last scripture. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. And, um, let's see if I can find it. Uh... Where was it at? Right, this is um second Ezra chapter nine, and I start at verse nineteen. It says, For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed, and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves. You know, because in the beginning, Israel obeyed. But now in this world, because we're living in this, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, Greek word for word world, the meaning of this world is talking about eon. All right. Rulership, age. OK, so in this world, you know, Israel has been corrupted by what? A perpetual seed. All right. And by a law which is unsearchable, rid themselves. You know, eat, you know, Jake exercising wickedness, man. They become wise to do evil. So now this is verse 20. So I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that would come into it. You know, and there's many evil and wicked devices that Jake do. But the device we talking about ultimately is that chip, which is the mark of the beast. All right. You know, because I could see, you know, Jake. You know, taking that chip out of fear because they, you know, as the apostle said, they not me not being able to eat they uh they they sugary frosted flakes. <laughs> you know, when Jake can't eat they flakes in the morning, they have a heart attack, man. They get they get all uh, grumpy and shit, agitated. You know, they can't get that blunt. You know, in in, in that cereal. But guess what? When Jake, you know, gets subject basically under the rule. And get and push that fear upon them that they can't do what they want to do. You're gonna take that chip, and when they do take that chip, you better believe it that Jake gonna be telling on each other, man. Because if they come across another person getting away with not taking a chip, being able to eat, and such a thing, they gonna murmur, man. They gonna whisper. You know, Jake right now call a cop on each other, man. I mean, well, I don't blame because there's a bunch of damn idiots out here, man. But you know, you can see. That little code that, that Jake lived by, don't snitch, is really being broken up, you know, and they're using it, you know, they're using these pawns like Takashi uh, 6, uh, to not Takashi Snitch 9, you know, he's actually uh, uh, helping um, them in this, breaking up this snitch thing for the younger generation, you know, but anyway, on the whole, you know, Jake, you know, they sell out, man, J uh, man, two thirds of our people are sellouts, man, if you ain't for the Lord, you a sellout, man. You for this world, you a sellout, man. Straight up. You know? So I can see, you know, Jake telling on each other and shit. But anyway, so I considered the world and behold, there were there was peril because of the devices that would come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. So what the Lord is saying, you know, with the Israelite, he have kept him. All right, a grape of the cluster, a cluster. Like, so you got clusters of grapes, 
He only kept him one grape out of that whole cluster. Because all of the clusters of grape, you could, if you picture this, all of the grapes, the, the grapes, the clusters of grapes, all of those are the elect. But the Lord said he had kept him one grape. One of them of that whole cluster of grape. That's talking about the elect within the elect, man. I'm going to read it again. It says, so I considered the world. No, verse 21. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then that was born in vain. Exactly. Because there's going to be more of you Israelites getting put to death than those that will be saved. It says, let the multitude perish then which was born in vain. And let the great and let my great be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. You see that, man? So the moral of this lesson is that, you know, the elect, you know, you got Israelite camps that's not teaching the elect. What are you talking about then? You know, you got to push the elect. That's who the Lord is actually talking to. You know, two thirds. He obviously scriptures tell you he gave them ears that they couldn't hear. Eyes that they shouldn't eyes that they shouldn't uh, see. Then, then David say, make it a, a stumbling block before them. What's that? Romans 11 and 7 and down. So who are you talking to when you prophesizing? Or are you doing this for fame and just, you know, vain glory to be seen, to want to be some type of great, mighty teacher? You know, if you ain't talking about the elect and breaking these scriptures, then you ain't talking about nothing, man. You know, I mean, you are. The scriptures say you could do nothing against the truth before the truth, because a lot of times, hey, I'm going to say brothers that are sincere and that's of the hopeful elect brothers come in, you know, off of starter kits, <laughs> you know, certain camps be starter kits, you know, like Zabat for a brother. You know, he get to understand it a little bit, learn a few scriptures, know that he an Israelite, knowing what Esau done, learning the history a little bit, something, you know, precepts, a lot of precepts. And then. You know, you end up seeing great millstone videos and then you're getting all that knowledge, man. You're getting that history, man. And then, you know, it's like you're getting sealed. Now you you fully on, man. You ain't looking back no more. You got it. You know, you got it, you know. So, hey, can't do nothing for the truth. I mean, against the truth, but for the truth, man. But in our reality, what are you talking about if you ain't talking about the elect? You know, and that's just because, you know, I'm saying it's because, um... I was inspired off of Elder Apostle Tahar's video and even pulling this scripture, but also too tying in for what videos I was watching. You know, I was watching these different camps that came on the feed and guys I never seen before. You know, but nobody besides Great Millstone, to my knowledge, is talking about the elect. You know, it's just out there just trying to look good, get a following, get get, you know, people get thumbs up and all that shit. You know. But um you know, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Green Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.